Hello, astronomy class. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of a scientific notation review, since I know that many folks might not have had practice with scientific notation in a while, and it'll come up during our class. So let's go. So scientific notation is a way to express numbers uh, where we use a specific form. All numbers in scientific notation have a coefficient between one and 10, and then they're multiplied by a specific power of 10. So as an example, if I have this number written in scientific notation, 4.2 times 10 to the nine, the coefficient of that number is 4.2, and it has a power of 10 of nine. So it's multiplied by 10 nine times. That's what this power would mean. Um, numbers that share the same power of 10 have the same order of magnitude. So I would say that the order of magnitude of this number, 10 to the nine, is 1 billion. Um, so for example, if this number was 5.6 times 10 to the nine, it would be the same order of magnitude as this number. All right, when we do um, mathematical operations in scientific notation, um, this is how it works. If we are converting to scientific notation from standard form, you basically wanna count how many digits you need to move the decimal in order to achieve a whole number coefficient. So if you move to the left in your number, you need to multiply by 10. If you move uh, your decimal point in your number in standard form once to the left, you need to add one factor of 10 to make up for that, right? Whereas if you move your decimal point to the right, then you need to subtract one from your power to make up for that operation. So let me give you an example of that. If I start with a number in standard form like 25,000, the decimal point would be at the very end of this number here. And so in order to put this number in scientific notation, I need to move that decimal to the left one, two, three, four times before I have a number 2.5 that's between one and 10. So since I had to move it backwards four times, I need to add four powers of 10, which means I'm multiplying by 10 to the power of four. And all this is saying is that this number in scientific notation is equal to that prefactor, 2.5, times 10, the number of times um, that it has the power. So one, two, three, four factors of 10. There we go. If I look at a different number in standard form, say 0 0.0384, now I'm going to move my decimal point to the right. I already say where my decimal point is starting from, and I need to move it to the right two times in order to land on a number that's between one and 10. So now my prefactor is 3.84, and since I had to move my decimal to the right two times, then to make up for that, I need to make sure to um, subtract two from the power. So here, this original number would have been times 10 to the zero. And so therefore, um, taking away two factors of 10 puts me at 10 to the minus two. If I wanted to write this number in standard form out in terms of the operations it took to get there, then 3.0384 is equal to 3.84 divided by 10 and then divided by 10 again. So all of these statements here are equivalent. Now let's talk about calculations in scientific notation. So if I want to multiply numbers in scientific notation, I multiply the coefficients, but then I add the powers. So as an example, if I have two times 10 to the three, and I multiply that by three times 10 to the second power, then I multiply my coefficients. So two times three would give me six, and I add my powers. So I end up with 10 to the power of three plus two, or 10 to the five. So this entire operation, two times three gives me six, 10 to the three times 10 to the two gives me 10 to the five. I end up with six times 10 to the five. The rule for division is similar, except the powers now subtract. So as an example, if I have four times 10 to the three divided by two times 10 to the eight, I take four divided by two for my coefficient, leaving me with a ending coefficient of two. And I do 10 to the three minus 10 to, or divided by 10 to the eight is 10 to the three minus eight, which leaves me with 10 to the minus five. So those are the rules for arithmetic in scientific notation. Um, if you're adding numbers in scientific notation, you cannot add them directly unless they share the same power. 
And so therefore, if you are trying to add or subtract numbers in scientific notation by hand, you have to expand them back out into standard form. So of course, calculators are gonna make your life a lot easier. Um, the search bar in Google Chrome browser is also an excellent calculator, but you do need to make sure to tell it um, how to order operations correctly. So that's why I've been very careful in the examples here to show you exactly where I would place um, the parentheses in order for Google to understand um, exactly what order of operations I want for that calculation. Okay. So here's an example problem that you can play with. Um, let's say that the diameter of our solar system, well, it is, we don't have to say it is, it actually is two times 10 to the 13 meters in diameter. If we wanted to convert this to AU, um, I'm gonna show you exactly how we would do that. So we're gonna need to use this conversion factor, uh, which is that one AU is equal to 1.496 times 10 to the 11 meters. So our question is, what is the solar system's diameter in AU? So I'm again going to attempt to write this out. So if I write down the diameter of my solar system in meters, two times 10 to the 13 meters. Now I wanna convert this to AU. So instead of leaving this um, factor as one AU is equal to this many meters, instead I'm gonna say, well, it's true that if I divide both sides by 1.496 times 10 to the 11 meters, then it's gonna cancel out of this side and leave me with a factor of one AU divided by 1.496 times 10 to the 11 meters on both sides. So let me pause my recording and try to catch up real quick on writing that down. Okay, I caught up. So all I've done here is I'm dividing both sides of this equation by the same number. You can always do that algebraically. And so this side cancels completely and leaves me with one. And that means that this, what's left over, is a conversion factor that I can multiply to any other number um, without penalty. So this is a legal operation algebraically. So I'm going to multiply my solar system diameter by this factor. So let me again pause my recording, write out that factor. OK, so I am multiplying by this factor here. That's what I've written out here. And now. I am going to complete this operation. So if I write out this um, 2.2 times 10 to the 13 meters multiplied by this conversion factor, which is equal to one, then I will cancel my unit of meters and that will leave me with only the unit of AU, which is what I want in the end. So now it is the time to practice my scientific notation calculating skills. Um, I still have two times 10 to the 13 meters in my numerator. And I am dividing that number by 1.496 times 10 to the 11 meters, since that's in the denominator of this conversion factor. So let me go ahead and write that out as well. Okay, all I've done is actually tidy this up. So again, my, my meters are actually canceled at this point. There. And my one AU will be left. And so the one doesn't matter. Multiplying by one is free. And so that means that this, the result of this calculation will end up with the units of AU. So in order to divide in scientific notation, I'm first going to divide those prefactors. So I'm going to end up with two divided by 1.496. All right, so there's my prefactors, two divided by 1.496. And then that's going to be multiplied by 10 to the 13 divided by 10 to the 11. And so those factors of 10, the powers are going to subtract. So I'll end up with 13 minus 11. It's always the one in the numerator minus the one in the denominator. So let me write that out. All right, so there's times 10 to the 13 minus 11. Notice that caret symbol, that just means it's a power. And then I let my AU tag along. So if I simplify this um, two divided by 1.496 gives me 1.34 and 10 to the 13 minus 11 is 10 to the two. So let me go ahead and write out that result. All right, so I end up with 1.34 times 10 to the two AU 
And if I wanted to express this back in standard form again, I would need to move my decimal over by two places in order to get rid of that 10 to the two, right? And so I would end up with 134 AU. So that's the total extent of our solar system. Remember the distance from Earth to Sun is approximately one AU on average, and from the Sun to Neptune is about 30 AU. So 134 is the full extent. Okay, I hope that it was helpful to see this practice question. And again, if you have any questions about scientific notation or doing unit conversions like we just did here, um, feel free to let me know. There's lots of good practice resources on the web um, from places like Khan Academy or similar. Um, and I'm always happy to give you more practice questions if you want them.